This is a video tutorial created by Show Me Chris, and in this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to clean and speed up your computer. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Start, and then select Run, and then type msconfig, and then click OK. And then you should see a box that says System Configuration Utility, and then go to Services, and then here you can disable and enable startup services. So programs that start up when you turn on your computer. Sometimes these programs do not need to start up automatically. You don't need them running in your background, taking up memory, and slowing down your computer. If you don't know if you need the service or not, you can check Hide All Microsoft Services. And then all services that are made by Microsoft will be hidden. So the chance of you disabling a service you need will not be as high. But if you want a description of the service, you can go to Start select run and then type services dot msc and then click OK and then you should see a box that says services and then here when you select the service you should get a description on the left of what the service does if you want to disable the service just right click on the service and select properties under startup type select this arrow right here and then select disabled to re-enable the service do the exact same thing except select automatic and then select apply. To disable services and system configuration utility just uncheck the service and then select apply. To re-enable the service just check the service and then select apply. If you do not see the service listed you might have to uncheck hide all Microsoft services. If you're still not sure if you need the service or not or you want more information on the service you can search the services in Google. I'm just going to go to Google and search Windows Services. And then you should get a bunch of results. This is my favorite one. I will give you a link to this website in the video description. I'm just going to scroll down to where the services are. And then you should see a bunch of services, li services listed. If you're on a website and you're looking for something in particular, so any website, and you want to go to something in particular, you can press and hold control on your computer's keyboard and press F. And then you should see the find box appear, and depending on your internet browser, it may be different. And you can also go to edit, find in this page. The find box is really useful because I can enter in whatever word or phrase I'm looking for, and it will bring me to where it is located on the website. So I'm going to enter in Messenger for the Messenger service. And then it's going to bring me to the Messenger service. If I entered in Service, it would also highlight Service. So I'm going to select it. And then it's going to give me some information on the Messenger service. So this is a really nice website, but there are other websites out there, so you can search for them on Google. That's what I recommend you do. The next thing I recommend you do in System Configuration Utility is go to Startup. And then here you can disable and enable Startup Processes. Startup Processes are programs that start up when you turn on your computer. Again, sometimes these programs do not need to start up automatically. You don't need them running in your background, taking up memory, and slowing down your computer. To disable a process, just uncheck the process and then select Apply. To re-enable the process, just check the process and then select Apply. And again, if you don't know what the process is, such as AVGNT, pretend you don't know what AVGNT is, you can actually search it on Google. I'm just going to go to Google and search AVGNT. And I'm going to select this result, but there are others. And then it tells me that it's for my antivirus. So this is, this is the process that I do not want to disable. So this is a really nice website, but there are other there are there are other websites out there, a lot of other websites, so you can search for them in Google. Again, that's what I recommend you do. Go to Google and search for these websites. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to my computer, right click on it and then select properties. And then you should see a box that says system properties. You can also access it by going to start, settings, control panel, double click on system and then you should also be able to get to system properties and then select advanced and under performance select settings and then I recommend you select adjust for best performance adjust for best performance will disable 
a bunch of useless effects and stuff. It will give you the old taskbar from Windows 95, 98, 2000, etc. And if you want the classic start menu, so the classic start menu, uh, just right click on your taskbar, say properties, under start, start menu, select classic start menu, and then select apply. Selecting, adjust, let Windows choose if your computer can handle all these useless effects and stuff it's going to enable them so I recommend you select adjust for best performance and then select apply there are also two free programs that you can download the first program I'm going to talk to you about is called C cleaner and C cleaner the really nice Windows cleaning utility and it even had the registry cleaner on it I will give you a link in the video description to where you can download C cleaner to open it just double click on the icon and then it opens up and then you can select which check whichever um, whatever you want it to scan and clean and you can go to applications and do the same uh, and then you can just say run cleaner and it's going to automatically clean up and there's also a registry cleaner and again you can just say scan for issues and then it's going to scan your registry you can just say fix or repair or whatever and it may ask you to create a back if you want to create a backup a registry backup or not or something uh, I don't think you really have to I never created one but you can if you want the next program I'm going to be talking to you about is called cleanup and again I will give you a link to the in the video description to where you can download it just run the installer I'm going to double click on it and then it starts up and you can go to options and you can select under quick setups through cleanup standard basic custom and I recommend you disable sounds because it's a toilet flushing sound <laughs> So I recommend that you disable the sounds. Just uncheck it to disable it. And you can also check here to what you want to scan and delete and stuff. Say OK. And then just say clean up. And it will ask you if you want to run in demonstration mode. Uh, I just say no. I don't want to run in demonstration mode. So, so just select clean up and it's going to start cleaning up your computer. And then you can just and then you can just select close and it's going to tell you that you need to log off or restart before it takes effect or something. So you you can do that. You can just restart your computer and whatever it cleaned up will take effect, I guess. Thank you for watching this video tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions and or comments about this video tutorial, please feel free to send me a message and or comment.